Hello everyone. In this video, I explain assignment number 10 that is Prim's algorithm. First, we see problem statement. A business house has several offices in different countries. They want to lease phone lines to connect them with each other. And the phone company charges different rent to connect different pairs of cities. Business House wants to connect all its offices with minimum total cost. Solve this problem by suggesting appropriate data structure. So how you can solve this problem? The solution is use a data structure as a graph. In the graph where V is a set of vertices and A is a set of pages. So here set of vertices are the offices in different countries and ages is nothing but the telephone connection between the offices. The graph G here is a complete graph. For every age, age weight is the rent to connect the pairs of the cities. So this is nothing but a weighted graph and the weight of the age is nothing but the rent to connect the pairs of cities. For example, here there are the five offices. Company has five offices A, B, C, D, E and F. These are the locations. The vertices represent the offices and the rent for connecting the cities is nothing but the weights of the ages. So this is almost a complete graph. So every office is connected to the other office through the age. And this age cost is represent the rent for connection of the telephone line from B to C or A to B. Now, if you calculate the minimum cost to connect all the cities, then you will get the answer to your problem that finding the minimum cost to connect all the cities. So, find the minimum spanning tree using the Prim's algorithm. For Prim's algorithm, you must know the starting vertex. Then, you have to select the age from the starting vertex to all other vertex with a minimum cost. So, here you will get 3, 4, the age A, B, A, A, E, E, D, C, D and E, F. So here all the offices are connected through the telephone cable with a minimum cost as 3, 4, 5, 2 and 4 that is 18. If you take the summation it gives you the 18 value. First of all we see what is spanning tree. A spanning tree of a graph is just a subgraph that contain all the vertices and is a tree. A graph may have many spanning trees. For example, this is a given graph. You can construct the many spanning trees of the same graph by considering different ages. Okay, so here there are possibility of four spanning tree for the given graph A. Because in the spanning tree you have to consider all the vertices and the ages should be one less than the number of vertices. So, there are different combinations of the edges. There is another example. It's a complete graph. There are all 16 of its spanning trees. Okay. There are different combinations are there for the edges. And you get different spanning tree. Then what is minimum spanning tree? In the minimum spanning tree, the input graph is a weighted graph. And you are choosing the age with the minimum value, minimum cost. And you are selecting the ages with the minimum cost. So, suppose if you are, these are the some sample spanning trees of this given graph G. Where the different ages are considered like 2, 4, 1. So, what is the cost of the tree is? 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. If you consider this, then it is 3 plus 2, 5 and 1 is 6. 4 plus 5, 9 plus 1, 10. So, you found that this is the minimum cost spanning tree because the cost is minimum by considering the age 2, 3 and 1. There are two algorithms to implement 
minimum or to find the minimum spanning tree. One is Kruskal algorithm and second is a Prims algorithm. Kruskal algorithm, it selects the shortest edge in a network. Prims algorithm select the vertex. Select the next shortest edge which does not create a cycle. It select the shortest edge connected to that vertex. Select the shortest edge connected to any vertex already connected. And in repeat the steps until all the vertices have been connected. Here you have to repeat the steps until all the vertices have been connected. So the Kruskal algorithm, it constructs the minimum spanning tree edge by edge. You have to select the edge which does not form a cycle. In the Prims algorithm, the minimum spanning tree is constructed vertex by vertex. So let us see the example of Prims algorithm. So this is a given graph G. So if your starting vertex is D, then from the D, there are the ages like 5, 9, 6 and 50. So out of all these ages, the 5 is minimum. So the next node visited is A. You have to choose this minimum cost H and visit the next node A. Now, the two vert vertex are visited A and D. You have to see all the edges which are going from the vertex A and vertex D. So, the minimum is 7, 9, 15 and 6. Out of this 7 is minimum. So, the next edge, sorry, 6 is minimum which is coming from D. From the 7 is the edge which is coming from A. The 6 is minimum. So, you have to choose the next minimum as D, F that is 6. Now, there are the different edges which are going from F, D and A. So, you have to see all the edges which are uh, starting from the vertex A, D and F. So, the next minimum is 7. Next minimum is 7 from B to E. Then the next minimum is 5 from E to C. So the total cost is 30. 30 plus this age. This age is not visited. So you have to select this age. So the number of ages are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the number of vertices are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So there are, you have to visit all the vertices with the number of edges 1 less than the number of vertices. So it's a 7 vertices and 6 edges are visited. Let us take another example. This is your starting vertex A. Find out all the edges which are uh, starting from the vertex A. So it's 13, 16 and 8. 8 is minimum. So next vertex is selected as F. Now from the F there is 7, 17, 11, 10. So you have to choose the minimum vertex, minimum cost vertex that is B. Then you have to choose the next is 11, next is You have to visit all the vertices with the minimum cost. The minimum cost is here at the bottom. So you are visiting A, F, C, B, A, F, B, C, B, E, D. Okay, all the vertices with the minimum cost. Now in the next video, we will see the pseudocode for minimum spanning tree using Primsa.